हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ अफशा इंग्लिश टीचर एट अहलेबाद हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज टूडे लेट इस कंटिन्यू विद द थर्ड थीम ऑफ अवर टेंथ क्लास सिलेबस राइट सो कमिंग टू अवर थर्ड थीम इट इज द ह्यूमन रिलेशंस आई होप यू ऑल रिमेंबर वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस सो अवर फर्स्ट थीम वॉज पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट द सेकेंड थीम वॉज विट एंड ह्यूमर नाउ कमिंग टू अवर थर्ड थीम इट इज ह्यूमन रिलेशंस before beginning with the lesson i would like you all to go through the face sheet that has been given in the first page of your lesson right so what all you can see there what is the picture about right i am sure that you can see there is a there is an old man right sitting on a chair right just observing all the other people around him so there is one utterance from him let us see what is it let us have a look on it As I sit here alone and waiting I gaze at people passing me by I try to smile reach out to them but no one notices no one waits they look to me like I am nothing are they afraid to be seen saying hi to an old man like me so what he is saying here I just keep quiet by sitting here I just notice the other persons around me and I keep on smiling right I just smile on seeing them but in return they don't give any response to me they don't even give a response like they don't even say hi to me what will the reason behind that right the old man here is very much confused why they are treating me like this it is his question so can you please tell me what made be the concept of this here the author wants to show you the importance of human relations right how you need to treat to an old person what should be your behavior towards him right you need to be very careful you sh- you should not neglect them like this clear you have to give some response you have to show some respect towards them so this was all about our concept now let us proceed towards our lesson that is the journey this is the part a of the third theme human relations okay let me give you the introduction of our author right the author of this story is yes dorji tongchi the name sounds very strange right actually he is an assamese so the name is like that so yes dorji tongchi he was born in the year 1952 in the month of may is a prominent name in assamese literature as i have told you he is an assamese writer right so he is very famous over there though he grew up in a poverty he studied well and entered arunachal pradesh civil service and was later elevated to the indian administrative service so he was he belonged to a very poor family clear he studied well and entered the arunachal pradesh civil service okay so he became the member of that and later on he was promoted as the uh, promoted in the indian administrative services he writes fiction drama essays in assamese and in english so he writes in both english as well as assamese language so his works includes dramas fictions essay writings and etc he has received the national recognition with his novel mauna onth mukha riday so how he became famous means because of his writings by name called as mauna aunt mukhar riday it is the name of the novel because of which he became very famous okay which won the sahitya academy award in the year 2005 many of tongchi's novels including sonam deal with the cultural life of the monpa and the shedupen tribes of arunachal pradesh so uh, many of his novels for example uh, sonam has been given it deals with the tribal life of the assamese people usually arunachal pradesh people okay so this was all about the author now let us proceed towards our lesson the journey so the journey is an essay which was first written by yes dorji thongchi in assamese language and it has been later translated into english by dp nath let us see what has been given in that after spending a leisurely sunday at home the very thought of returning to work on monday is tiring lethargy creeps in if the holiday continues over an extended period that is how i felt when i was preparing to return to my place of work after spending 6 months at home 
the fact that I was to leave behind my newly wed wife and go to a far, far off place did not help either. Obviously, I did not want to go. So, it is a story of one person, the narrator we can say. Let us see what he is saying. He is saying that it will be very tiring, right? And reluctant to go to the office after a period of holidays, right? If we take rest for some days, then we will be feeling very, very lethargy, right? That is tired, not willing to do anything. So, uh, for example, if you got a Sunday, how you will feel on Monday? You will feel like sleeping again. You don't want to go back to your work, right? So, that is what he is showing here, right? That is how I felt when I was preparing to return to my place of work after spending six months at home. So, this person took six months leave, right? For what reason? For his marriage. So, after taking leave for six months, right? How a person will feel? You can just imagine the situation, right? It will be very hectic, very troublesome go back to work, right? And he was very upset because he have to leave behind his newly wed wife. It means that he was there with his family for getting married, right? So, but he was having no other option. So, he, he have to go, right? But the fact was, he was not at all interested in going back to work again. However, I finally did decide to go. I did not have much to carry by way of luggage, just a trunk. Ours is a hilly terrain without any motorable roads and there is no certain certainty that we are ever going to have any roads. In any case, while coming home, we did not carry bedding. Besides, I had come home this time round for a special purpose, to get married. What he is saying? However, he was not having any option, right, rather than going back to home. So, finally, he decided that and he was not having much luggage to carry out with him. He was just having one trunk. Trunk is a kind of chest we can say, right? Uh, a box or something in which we, we can keep our belongings, right? So, he was just having that trunk to carry out. His family used to live in a very rural area, right? Where the roads were not properly built. It was not a motorable roads, right? What is the meaning of motorable roads? Where vehicles could not run easily. So, this was, uh, such was their locality and there is no certainty that we are ever going to have any roads. In any case, while coming home, so what it is saying, because of such kind of roads, we never carry huge luggage with us, right? And now coming to the reason why he visited the town again means because for getting married, there was a special purpose behind visiting his parents, right? The purpose was getting married. My parents had arranged my marriage according to the customs of our tribal society. Time flew and five months into my marriage, I realized it. Initially, I thought of extending my leave, even taking unpaid leave. But after some daily delaying, I finally decided against it because marriage had increased my responsibilities and I had to go into debt. So, what it is saying here? His parents have decided, right? They have arranged the marriage, right? Whose parents? The narrator's parents, okay? They have arranged the marriage in a tribal way according to their customs, their cultures and etc. After getting married, he stayed there for 5 months, okay? As we have discussed that he was on leave for 6 months, right? So, he stayed with his newlywed's wife for 5 months. Then the time comes, right? What he is saying now? Now, he was not able to make his mind to go back for work. But he have to do that. After daily delaying, it means that after a lot of thinking, right? Taking time for making decisions, okay? Very reluctantly, he have decided to go back, right? Why means, what was the reason behind that? Because, because of the marriage, the responsibilities on his shoulders have been increased now. And he was in depths, okay? Debts in the sense, he have taken lot of loans from other people. So, he have to return that. That is what the reason he cannot extend his leave now. On my way home from the bus stop, my trunk had been carried by a porter. The problem now was, we couldn't find anyone who could help me carry the trunk to the bus stop. So, what he is saying, as we have discussed, he was carrying one trunk with him, right? So, in his olden days, only villagers only used to help, help him to carry his trunk or there used to be any porter 
right but this time what happened everyone was busy in their own life so there was no one to help him out at another time of the year we would have easily found someone to help me but now most of the villagers were busy in the fields nobody had time to spare for me in fact carrying the trunk should not have been such a worry for me except that my education had made me shun physical labor after all i was a government officer and the idea of people seeing me carry my own luggage was not at all amusing otherwise for a young man like me it should not have been an issue to carry a 20 kilo chest on my back so what uh, what he is saying now there used to be villagers who used to help him out but this time all they were busy in the fields that is agriculture so there was no one who could help him out to carry his trunk he was a gentleman he was a young man but even though he was unable to carry that why means education was acting as an obstacle right education have uh, shun shun his physical labor right because of the self consciousness i can say what people will think about me i being an educated person how could i carry a trunk on my back that fellow was thinking like that if not the 20 or 25 kg tr- chest was very easy to carry right finally my father came up with a solution don't worry i myself will see you off at the dirang so dirang is the place from where he was about to carry the oh catch the bus dirang was the place from where he was supposed to catch the bus clear what was the final decision of the father he said that don't worry i will help you out in this situation right i will come by myself i will help you out right i will carry your trunk i protested how could i allow my old father to carry my trunk what would people think what would they say but i failed to dissuade him it was decided the father would carry the chest at first what happened the man the young man he protested he denied he said that how can i let my father to carry my luggage what the other people will think of me right but at last he was failed in his aim and his father said that he will only carry the chest on his back let us see what happened a large crowd gathered at our place the day i was to leave people had come to wish me luck 10 20 when i left for dirang my father had already left as i had to go as i had to do a bit of catching up i walked fast 3 kilometers down the road i caught up with my father father said you are late would you like to rest for some time so what happened the day came when he was supposed to leave so a large crowd gathered right i hope you all you all know what will happen in the villages right they will gather to send off someone right say someone goodbye and this was all happened at that place also people have come to wish him good luck it was all about 10 20 morning fine when he started okay um, his father who was already left from there when he was meeting from his villagers or companions friends i can say his father left by the time so he had to move fast in order to catch his father and it was almost 3 kilometers he met his father finally so it means that by the time he he was busy in meeting his uh, friends or villagers their father has been travel for 3 kilometers okay father said you are late would you like to rest for some time